Hey Fruit Bats, so I missed yesterday's video because my computer absolutely blew up and now I'm using an iPad. Obviously it was under carb. Go fruit, try some. Okay, let's get straight into this. On the left, we have Cecil the lion who is killed, murdered by this asshole, Walter Palmer. So Walter is no stranger to killing beautiful wild animals and he paid $50,000 to an expedition company in Africa to come and kill Cecil. So Cecil was an 11 year old and he was a much loved lion in Africa. So this douche, he tracked him down, he wounded him with a crossbow and then 40 hours later, they found dying Cecil and they shot him in the head with a rifle. So the rest of the world got wind of this and everybody got fucking angry, understandably. Celebrities went all over social media saying how angry they were and how they basically wanted his head on a chopping block. And I'm like, this is so cool seeing so many people passionate about the welfare of animals. Then I'm like, hang on a second, most of these celebrities eat animals every single meal of the day. Actually, us humans kill over 150 billion animals every year unnecessarily for food. This is all happening while we have amazing vegan food to thrive off. One celebrity who was particularly vocal and scathing was Cara Delvinia. This Walter Palmer is a poor excuse of a human being. But hang on a second, Cara, who's got bacon tattooed on their body? Who's obsessed with tortured pig flesh? You. <laughs> Another celebrity who spoke up passionately about this was Candace Swanenpool, who I just did a video on. How dare you, Walter Palmer, she says. But hang on a second, Candace, I'm confused here because your favorite meal is dead cow. A victory meal is usually a burger and a beer. Say that to this beautiful face. And that's where Kat Von D comes into it. She is a vocal vegan. She's got millions of followers on social media. She's got her own cruelty-free vegan makeup. And she also spoke up for Cecil the Lion and she put a post on Instagram which got a lot of hate. But before we take a look at that post, let's learn a bit more about Kat Von D. Tattoo artist Kat Von D works with the most expensive temperamental canvases imaginable, the celebrity skin. From Miley Cyrus to Dave Navarro, and even One Direction's Harry Styles and Zayn Malik, Kat's incredible talent has attracted a steady stream of high-profile clients to her Hollywood parlor, High Voltage. The 32-year-old first shot to fame in the highly successful reality show, LA Inc. <laughs> oh my god! When, when I saw it, I, I just couldn't believe it. You know, it looks exactly like the painting, plus more amazingness. Since then, Kat's profile has skyrocketed. This creative star has written three New York Times bestsellers and now she's taking on a new challenge, releasing a range of cosmetics. I like to play around with these different colors and textures and I think as an artist understanding the usage of light and shading and something that I've always been inclined toward. Okay, so now we're going to hear from Kat. She's going to read out her Instagram post. It's hard for me to <clears throat> empathize with those who are upset about the recent killing of an innocent lion yet choose to eat animals. The only difference between Cecil the lion and all the animals killed for me, none. F the only difference between what Dr. Walter Palmer did to an animal and how an animal dies in order to serve those who consciously choose to eat meat, none. Regardless of all the lies our country's FDA, medical industry, and me media force upon us, it is our responsibility to seek out the truth for ourselves and make life changes individually. So don't tell me I can't live without my steak. Don't tell me it's hard because of insert excuse here. And don't tell me it's good for your health when science has proven the opposite. Don't lie to yourself that there is a humane way of killing a living being. Well said, sister. Well said. So do you agree or do you disagree? Leave your comments down below. And if you enjoy this video, you want more like this, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go fruit yourself or root yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow.